So hey guys, I've got the uh, the Osmo 5 from DJI. Three axis gimbal stabilizer. That means is you can kind of really flip it around like this. Get all sorts of angles. And it's always going to find its way back. So extended. Oh yeah. And then the nice little advantage on this particular device is that it has uh, an extender rod which is a new feature that they put on this one. So I can do this, and now really, I can tilt it down, get some angles, and then I can use the selfie cam. So here is the new perspective with the Osmo 5. It has a rod on it that extends so that I'm able to get a nice, well, so that my head's not filling up the entire, entire screen. And the cool thing is that it's going to stabilize no matter what. So if I can take this off, and no matter what I do, it's always going to keep me all center. See how that works? So. It's a really great device. So, it's, I mean, I could imagine if I was on a bicycle, but maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll grab a bicycle and go take a little ride with this and see how well it holds up. But this feels a lot more stable than the, than the Osmo 4. And it feels like it could really, the motor's more powerful. In fact, the Osmo 4 didn't work very well with this clamp on it. It was almost too heavy for the iPhone 12. This one seems to have no problem stabilizing with it whatsoever. So anyway, so we're off to go get some feet. Hey, so what I'm gonna show now is, that is there's a tracking feature on the Osmo 5. And you see that little, you see the green around her? That means that it's found her, so go ahead and move. Yeah, so if she moves, the camera follows her. Yeah, I can't find her, it goes red. And then I found her again. Look at that. So we're going to compare the OM4 with the OM5. So this is the Osmo 4 that I've been using for a while. And then this is the new OM5. Now, right off the bat, a couple differences is that the OM5 is significantly lighter. But it's actually smaller, too. So you can definitely see that there's a, there's a size difference. Now, for me... This one fit my hand perfectly. Whereas this one, as you can see, is a little smaller, so I have to kind of kind of fiddle with it. It's kind of like a little bit, I'm a little more dainty with it. But this one I could really grip, whereas this one is like a little smaller. Now, as far as the controls, they're also very similar. They did add a button. So this is your selfie stick button. So before, I can't remember exactly how you did it, but I think it was a three, click thing on this thing or a fast click I can't remember but they moved the M button the mode button over to the side here so now you have the mode button over here along with your T and W 
and your joystick here. For me, I personally like having the mode sit button here and then this side because I switch this a lot from left to right. When I'm when I'm shooting, I I'll be shooting with this one and then I want to shoot over here, I'll, I'll, I'll switch hands. I don't just turn around. And so that brings me up to the next point. The little thing, but the lanyard. They wanted to improve the lanyard. So this is the new lanyard. I put it on the old one because I'm actually using, I'm actually using the old one because I like it better. But this is the new one and they wanted to improve it. And the way they thought they'd improve it was they would have it so it did an auto, I don't know, as soon as you put it on, it kind of lasts it around you like a, like you were, like one of them cattles at a rodeo. So whoop, ah, you know, you can't get away. So so every time I put it on, you know, you, so I walk around with it like this a lot of times because I'm using my hands for other things. So as soon as I do that, this thing's gonna last on my hand, which is great if I was water skiing or if I was jumping out of an airplane. However, most of the time, I'm just shooting some scenery and doing some blogging and whatnot. So now this thing's locked around my hand and now I gotta switch hands because I, cause I, for whatever reason I want to, I can't. And now I gotta figure out how to get this thing off my hand here. It's a real, it's a real chore. Whereas with the old one, it didn't do that. So see, I could let it dangle. I could do my stuff here and then I can kind of do that if I needed to switch hands very, very quickly. And then the other thing is, is that, they, that with the OM4, they used a magnetic little button clip thing here. So this would attach to, you stick this on your phone and then your phone attaches to the Osmo. The new one they didn't ship with that, but I ordered one because I really like it. They put this on instead, it's a clamp and this clamp goes on your phone and then you put it on here. Now with the OM4, the OM4 originally shipped with one of those. You have to, it just, they just ship with this, the clamp, and you don't have the button. The main reason I like the button is because it's not as intrusive on your, tele, on your phone. This just kind of sits on your phone and, and, and you don't really notice it. This clamp, if you leave it on your phone, is really, really big. So it's a real big thing. This weighs much less, whereas this weighs a little more. So the, the responsiveness, they, they put a faster motor, a stronger motor on this one, but than, than the old one. So, so it, it can actually handle the clamp on an iPhone 12. Whereas this one really struggled with the, with the 12, with the clamp on there. The lighter one obviously is gonna work better on your motor. And obviously the, the big feature here is this has an extender rod and it's lighter, but when you extend it out, you know, just the torque of it, the weight over here makes it very, very heavy. So I imagine if they had this, plus they extended it out, it would just be too heavy to hold. So they had to make it lighter. So I understand what they had to do, but those are just little things. I don't think they had to improve the lanyard. I think they could have left the lanyard alone.
show the little shorties how you pump and think the dog. Not to death, I'm not impressed. I'm not I'm used, I'm not confused, I'm not to do. I'm a grown man business, I am not in school. Put your hand down, youngin', this is not for you. I'm a jail, my feet with the Kanye yo. Name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh. Like like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a roll or sinker. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down and lay low. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out. Slim Jetta. Cast a big shadow. Cherokee red to shoot the long arrow. Got more skill, more aim, and more ammo. You can get it all from a big or small barrel like Hail Mary. Come and shoot up the place and make you pull up your face to death. I pull out the ace from the jungles of the Empire State where there ain't no escape. Two, four, seven. Seven, one, eight, and that's like every, every night, night, every day. From the place that I settle and say to the states, I'm collecting my pay. Last off, and I'm back to the cave. Hold it down for my family straight. Represent in a family way. Football, not for amateur play. Being lost is an amateur state before the press and the cameras raised. Like a long time man of the way, we want to stand in the street. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Excellence. And that's what it is, you see. <laughs>